Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today my topic for discussion is denture base in removable partial dentures. Well, by definition, a denture base is a part of denture that rests on the foundation tissues and to which teeth are attached. And the rationale behind using denture base is it provides attachment to the artificial teeth it helps in distributing if you see it is this is the denture base it is providing attachment to the teeth and it helps in distributing the forces to the supporting areas this is an area where teeth are not there so it helps in transmitting forces to the supporting oral tissues and if you provide characterization of the denture then you can also meet the aesthetic requirement and uh, it helps in stimulation of the underlying supporting tissues so these are all the rationale behind using denture base there are various uh, requirements for a denture base first requirement is that it should be rigid it should have adequate strength to bear the masticative forces it should be accurately adapted to the tissues because if it is not accurately adapted then chances of movement of the denture base is there and there will be unnecessary force on the abutment teeth. Then uh, it should be aesthetically acceptable as I said that characterization of dentures can be done so it can be made aesthetically acceptable. It should be easy to clean and it should be dense, it should be polished well. Another thing is it should be capable of relining since uh, if you are having an acrylic base then relining is possible and it should not be a problem. So you should choose a material which can be relined in the future. It should be cost effective and it should have a low specific gravity. Next what are the functions of denture base? Well if you see this case it is a distal extension case. Uh, where you have the dentulous span. If the dentulous span is more, then uh, the denture base provides major part of contribute major part of the support to the to the denture. And if you have a short span, uh, edentulous ridge, then the abutment teeth plays an important role in providing the support of the denture. And the major part of uh, support can be made sure by making an accurate impressions which uh, basically covers as much of tissues supporting tissues as much as possible that means uh, the in the maxillary arch if we are taking an impression the entire tuberosity should be covered and at the same time when we are making uh, the final impression of the lower arch then the rotromolar region should be uh, covered because these are two important vital anatomic structures which, which uh, play a role in providing retention as well as support. Another thing that the uh, quality of the supporting tissues should be assessed because if you have more of uh, a flabby kind of tissues which are uh, loose, so accordingly you have to modify the impression. Uh, the way you are making an impression and the type of impression material which you have to use and if you have more of a stable uh, base then uh, accordingly the denture base and the material impression material should be selected. The factors of retention are similar as the complete dentures uh, like in the physical factors you have adhesion, cohesion, uh, surface tension, capillary action and uh, effect of gravity, atmospheric pressure. So all these are factors are even relevant in removable partial dentures. Although uh, there is a lot of controversy when we talk about uh, the role of atmospheric pressure in removable partial dentures. So if you are having a totally tooth supported uh, situation, then uh, definitely atmospheric pressure does not have any uh, such role. But if you talk about uh, class one situation, Kennedy's class one situation in which you are having long span uh, long span edentulous uh, ridges so definitely they may have a, a minor role to play now what are types of uh, denture bases the most commonly used types of denture bases are acrylic denture base they can be a metallic denture base or they can be a combination of acrylic and metal 
first the acrylic resin denture base now these resin base which you see in front of you you have a base which is of acrylic resin as well as the teeth which are of acrylic resin so they are uh, this type of uh, denture base is mainly used in a distal extension cases so you can see a distal extension partial denture in front of you and uh, they are attached to uh, the framework by a minor connector which you can again see this is the lattice type of minor connector here and this is a mesh type of minor connector and uh, at least uh, the resin the acrylic resin should uh, require a, at least a thickness of 1.5 millimeters to provide adequate strength so the advantages are uh, anterior teeth can be replaced at the original position even in uh, cases where you have resorbed ridges and uh, they can restore the contours of the edentulous ridge because this is acrylic so easy trimming is the, you can do uh, trimming of the denture base easily and uh, very very big advantage of using acrylic raising is that in future you can always reline uh, the denture the drawbacks are disadvantages are that, that that they should rest on a large area for adequate stress distribution because here you need to uh, make sure that the impression the master impression which you have made the final impression should cover a lot of la uh, large areas of the tissues and uh, the denture base should also cover large amount of tissues in order to dissipate the the stresses another thing is denture bases should be thick to withstand the occlusal forces if they are not having adequate thickness then chances of fracture is uh, is there and uh, that is the reason if you are having very less of interarch space then uh, acrylic resin denture base should not be used then they have a tendency to distort by the release of internal stresses that is uh, that is during processing of the denture and that can happen and uh, you there is also a tendency to accumulate mucus deposits you, you have to always educate the patient about uh, oral hygiene maintenance because uh, chances of um, the calculus formation of soft tissue uh, deposits are always there on the base of the denture another type of denture base is the metal denture base metal denture base is uh, the base is made up of the entire metal portion on which the teeth are attached and uh, these base these uh, denture bases the metallic denture bases are usually indicated in uh, tooth supported partial dentures where the span is small so the advantages of using a uh, metal denture bases are that uh, metal denture bases are more accurate and uh, they maintain the accuracy of form without alteration in the mouth uh, because since they have been casted the accuracy of the uh, the denture is more in comparison to the acrylic resins and uh, there is uh, very less very minimum tendency for release of internal stresses unlike in the denture base uh, acrylic denture base resins they are easy to clean and they contribute to more healthy oral tissues than acrylic denture bases uh, a very big advantage of metal denture bases is that they can be used in thinner sections so if you have a um, very less interarch space then you can consider for uh, metal denture bases another thing is temperature changes in the oral cavity are transmitted by the den metal denture base uh, directly to the tissues so you have a better patient compliance and uh, you have a better tissue response as well and uh, they have a greater uh, density they are easy for the patient to uh, maintain hygiene easy for the patient to clean now drawbacks are they are difficult to repair and reline definitely the metal base now this denture base which you see in front of you this base is acrylic so this is you can reline or rebase this but if you totally have metal here then definitely it is not possible to reline or rebase these since they are metallic bases they are difficult to adjust they have poor aesthetic considerations because they are entirely of metal and uh, another very important part is that any over extension or under extension of the processes 
is very difficult to correct because it it will be very difficult for uh, the clinician to trim and adjust that and uh, there will be a high chance of injury to the tissues so this is all about the denture bases in removal partial dentures thank you for watching the video